Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. I think uh, one of the most important things is for me is to give a minute of silence to those that are less fortunate than we are this evening. Meaning thousands of miles away, families are being departed from each other and children. And we have a good fortune to know that America is intact. I do think that we shall overcome this situation that we are going through right now. But before I move on, let me take a couple of seconds or so in silence just to pray for those that are less fortunate. Thank you. Most people probably don't know that one of the greatest experiences for me was to attend the University of Texas at El Paso as a youngster. and to go for my dream as being on the Olympic team and so forth. And I want to make one interesting point that where there's a great athlete, there's always a great coach. And I'd like to recognize my coach that was the coach at the University of Texas at El Paso. Mr. Wayne Vandenberg, will you please stand up there? Thank you, Coach. I told a little uh, story about the day of 1968, October, 3.15 in the afternoon, the clouds were settling over this arena in Mexico City. And I was saying, I hope, I just hope it doesn't rain. And suddenly, I said, whether it rains or it keeps shining, I'm going to or I will not be denied winning this long jump today. And so I stood there right in the middle of this runway, as you could see on TV, that I was totally focused. And as I ran down the runway, my heart was beating, boom, 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 boom. And I rose up in the air, over six feet in the air. And I looked at my watch for about an hour in the air. <laughs> and suddenly, landing and making it one of the great events of the Olympic Games. It was truly a wonderful experience. But I think that my life now, 
is even greater because I want to give my, my love to my wonderful wife, my high school girlfriend. And my sister and all of the children, the grandchildren and so forth are sitting at our table. I think the experience, I think that the experience as being an athlete is one thing, but we do have another experience which is the afterlife. We sit here as great or as we say, greatness is sitting before you. But we do have another life. And I think that is even greater than anything else in the world. So I'd like to just kind of end this brief and just say thank you and thanks to my man upstairs of giving me the opportunity to live 75 years and stand before all of you wonderful beautiful athletes up here and to say I was great but you are too so thank you and God bless you.